welcome to the channel and this is another speed build part of my build around the world series if you haven't seen the other ones you can check that out at, um, in the playlist linked down below so today we are focusing on the Dominican Republic it's located on the island of Hispaniola in the Caribbean along with st. Martin and they're actually the uh, second largest island in the Caribbean the first being Cuba which isn't very far away and this particular build is inspired by the very colorful buildings and apartments that are in the colonial quarter of Santo Domingo and uh, Santo Domingo is actually its capital so Christopher Columbus arrived on the island in 1492 and at the time, the native Taino people had lived there since the 7th century. And the colony of Santo Domingo became the site of the first permanent European settlement in the Americas. The oldest lived in city and the first Spanish colonial rule in the Americas. After hundreds of years of Spanish rule, the Dominican people declared independence in 1821. Unfortunately, they didn't gain independence until the Dominican War of Independence in 1844 and over a period of 72 years, Dominicans permanently kicked out the Spanish during the Dominican War of Restoration in 1865 and they've survived American occupation in the early 1900s, dictators and civil wars, so they've gone through a lot as a, a country. The island itself is really diverse as far as people and um, geography. Uh, the Dominican Republic has both the Caribbean's tallest mountain, which is called Pico Duerte, and the Caribbean's largest lake and point of lowest uh, point of lowest elevation, Lake uh, Enriquio. Enrico? In the Kyo. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Sorry if I say anything incorrectly. Um, the country is also the site of the first cathedral, castle, monastery, and fortress built in the Americas. And those are also located in Santo Domingo, uh, the colonial zone, which is a world heritage site. As far as culture goes, music and sports are really important to the Dominican people. Specifically, merengue and bachata, um, which are their national dance and music, and baseball is a national favorite as well. So this particular build, I noticed there was like a street, and usually these are kind of in an alleyway. Um, so typically there would be these brightly colored um, buildings or apartments. Usually um, people will either live on the top portion of the building or the building itself will only be one story and they'll live um, there. And then there's a street that kind of runs down the middle. So I was trying to, so I was trying to represent that um, by putting a little faux street in front of the building. And then I also noticed something kind of cool. Usually there are drains, um, or what I notice, there's like drains in front of the building, but they're painted the same color as um, the portion of the building that they're on. So I tried to make that work. There's no blue uh, drain pipes, unfortunately. So I just went with gray. And um, yeah, so it was really fun to do this build. Also pretty difficult because I couldn't find for the life of me any interiors. Um, so a lot of what I did on the inside is just me kind of drawing from, my experience with Latin interiors as far as like, you know, Cuba and, um, Puerto Rico and other Latin islands that are pretty similar that 
have also been under Spanish rule at some point. So typically there's a lot of tile both inside and outside and there's a lot of wooden furniture as well as like shutters and um, I did notice that in uh, the Dominican type buildings that I referenced they had <clears throat> they had these really long shutters they almost look like um, doors maybe but I think they're windows but we unfortunately don't have anything like that in game So I guess this would be considered a more traditional style uh, living arrangement because I did notice a few houses that look like um, American houses that maybe are from the 80s um, but I think this would be a little bit more traditional and there's other houses that are smaller and they're also pretty colorful too I notice a lot of um, little houses that have like wood wood siding and like tin roofs and then um, they were usually painted in blue or pink and but I did see a few you know yellow ones and there's like green ones and all kinds of colors um, which I think is really fun and cool and it just makes you know your it just makes it look a little more lively I guess and I wish it was like that in the US. I wish that more houses and like rows of buildings were just bright and colorful. It's really beautiful, but here it's all about that beige and <laughs> like natural looking colors, I guess, for most houses. Although I, I have seen brighter houses here in the US. It's just not as common to, you know, be. Um, so much of it in one area, I guess. Um, unless you go to like the Victorian houses in San Francisco or uh, something like that. But otherwise, it, it's not like the Dominican Republic and some other uh, Latin America countries. As far as the furnishing goes, it's pretty simple. Um, I I, uh, I meant to put a fan in here because it does get really hot. It is an island in the Caribbean um, So there is some open areas and everything is kind of in Like a, an open floor plan, I guess you could say um, I was just imagining uh, I don't know if you saw it or not, but the picture of the boy and I was pretending like it was a portrait of uh, Jesucristo because <laughs> um, I, me, like me being Cuban, I know that my, uh, a lot of my family has religious imagery in their homes. So I think that's kind of the same deal that happens in most Latin countries. Uh, but yeah, so we're working on the um one of the bedrooms there's only one bedroom on each side or each apartment and it's pretty small so i just put a single bed in each one and um pretty much the same furnishing on both sides uh the mission style bed and just like a few little added details just to make it more personal to the person that lives here but the bigger things like the kitchen and the flooring and things like that, they're the same on each side because I figured that um, most apartments would have the same kind of major things like the flooring and the kitchen. So uh, that's what I went with. And then the bathrooms are just really standard. Um, nothing too special going on there, but yeah, 
But that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, give this video a like and comment down below on what country you'd like to see next. Next week, I'm going to be doing Germany. This video is actually pre-recorded. I am off to the Smoky Mountains for my anniversary. So that should be fun. I think I'm going to try and do some vlogging while I'm there if I'm able to. But yeah, thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.